Marcelo Martins and I'm here every week to talk about a little bit of natural fibers, natural dyeing and uh, spinning wheel. So today I'm here to talk about of hand carding and how to do this. Before I got my drum carder, I was always thinking I need a drum carder because it's very important, it's very helpful. However, when I got this, I got my drum carder, I realized that hand carders is very important too and most important sometimes than a drum carder. So you have to learn and you have to give attention to this. Why? Before a drum carder, that is very helpful too, but a hand carder, you can do everything about this and this I would like to show you. So, First of all, today with all technology and new equipment that you can have, hand carders are more useful for small fibers and short fibers that you can pass in a drum carders and a, and a combs. And it's easy to make some whole lags with this. But you can card a whole fish with hand with drum carders. So almost the, 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 the carder wool are harder to make a uh, woolen yarns. So let's go now, I go to show you how to make some great hulags or some small bath that you can spin in and have fun with a uh, drum card, okay? A hand card, sorry. So, uh, most important thing is how to, get, how to hold your hand card. I hold my hand card with my knot main hand. I am a right-handed, so I hold my support card with my left hand like this. So I got the hand and I support with three fingers or four fingers like this sometimes. My, my main hand, I use two fingers here to make the force to pick in the wool and get the wool like this, okay? So I have here a dog set. So I use to put the thick the from the wool that where the wool used to grow uh, by the by the downside of the hand carter, and I let around two rows here and two rows aside. I leave this open don't put too much just a little bit because when you make a whole lag what's the goal the whole lag is like a yarn it's like this and you go to spin like this to make a yarn that goes be having a, like a tube inside it that you go to get some air and go to get the twist like this okay and the fiber go to be crosses like this, make a little tube and the fiber go to slice one cross, one up on another like this, okay? So to cord, you make a little bed like this. You have to pay attention, for example, the set is a, a medium wool like this, but is a very, uh, uh, have a very condensed wool. So sometimes you put I think you have just a little bit, but it's pop out and they have a lot. So you just put, I use to pick just a little bit for every part of my, my hand card like this here. So I pick and I put leaf and I pull. I don't touch the teeth with, with teeth. I pick and I pull, pick, lift, pull, pull, pick, lift, pull, pick, lift, pull. Just this. Doing this slowly, you can pass only two times and you have your whole leg done. So I finished my first pass. As you can see, I concentrated my fiber almost here, but I can use all my card. I have a barb here. 
you can I people would say ah you use left hand right hand you can change doesn't I doesn't marry this before I used to to pay attention but not right now to me it's okay okay so now I go to make a second pass one I go to show a second a different way in the my my second whole leg so I here Look at that, I have a lot here, so I can get this back. Just, I pull with my, my support hand, I make a pressure, and I get my fiber back. Now, I card again. Do you understand? To make sure that how you pass second times is beautiful. And that's done. You have two ways to make a whole lock. The old way, I don't like, because I have trouble doing this, and in my opinion, it's not too great, because you lost a lot of air that you work so hard to put in your hulag. So that is it. You have to roll your both card one on top of the order to make a whole lock. That's the first one. Let's go to do another one. If, with these the tips, if you have a burn fiber here, it's better to get out with the dog comb to get your fiber prop properly uh, uh, carded. When I lift, I put down again to my fiber go in the thieves, do you see? So I pick, I lift, and I go down to comb. Do you see here? This is a second cut. You can get out, put aside, finish. I don't want to change my card, so I can get here, just put a pressure and get it back, carding back. Just carding back like this. Go. And I card again. Ah, Marcel, I see some vegetal mirror with a pointy stick. You can get it out. And that's it. And it's two carding back. And with two sticks like this, just two passes. No more. And it is easy and fast. You go here. Don't stretch so much because it's so you lost a lot of air. And here you can just turn around your fingers to close it. You get one stick out, another one. And that's it. You have a beautiful whole lock. Look the difference between both. You see? And the last one is a mini bath that uh, I like to show you. It's easy. It's do just not to make a whole lag. I made this and that's great. I love to spin from mini baths too. And you can spin from your card. And here is my mini bath. I can just put out, I can spin from here directly, or I can just put out my mini bath and I can spin from here. I put this in a basket and I spin from here. It's amazing, okay? So that is what I would like to show you and thank you very much. See you next video. If you do, did not subscribe, it's time to subscribe and next week I'm here with a, na a new video about natural fibers, spin wheels and the spinning method. Thank you very much. See you there. Bye.